Hiya, Georgie. What a nice poem. The fantastic two-part adaptation of Stephen King's It, brought by Andy Muschietti, who really nailed it with the It movies, gives a whole new generation of folks a serious case of the heebie-jeebies when it comes to clowns. But now that the first two films have wrapped things up nicely, folks are wondering if there might be a sneaky It Chapter 3 in the pipeline. So why hasn't It Chapter 3 hit the screens yet? Well, it all boils down to storytelling and respecting the source material. In It Chapter 2, the filmmakers stick pretty close to Stephen King's original story. They tie up loose ends and give us a satisfying conclusion, with the Losers Club finally taking down Pennywise. Sure, there are some differences from the book, like the absence of a big storm at the end, but overall, it stays true to the heart of the tale. When you think about it, the story of It has come full circle by the end of Chapter 2. The characters have faced their fears, lost some friends along the way, and ultimately triumphed over evil. So, from a storytelling perspective, there's not a lot of room left for a Chapter 3. Sure, Hollywood loves a good franchise, but bringing back Pennywise for another round would need a darn good reason. Fans might not be too keen on it if it feels like a cash grab. Plus, after the whole ritual and heart-ripping ordeal, it's kind of hard to imagine Pennywise bouncing back for more scares. I mean, does a creepy clown like that even need a heart to keep terrorizing people? It's a bit of a head-scratcher. Andy Muschietti, the creative force behind the IT film series, has been pretty clear about his stance on IT Chapter 3. While it's common for different directors to tackle parts of a trilogy, Muschietti's involvement feels essential to the series. His distinct horror style is woven into every frame, making it hard to imagine anyone else at the helm. Despite the massive success of the first film, raking in over $700 million on a modest budget, Muschietti never saw it as a trilogy. He explained that while some may have speculated about a trilogy, there was never any real discussion about it. He mentioned how splitting the story into three parts could have allowed for more character development and a bigger canvas for the journey, but it wasn't in the cards. It was always envisioned as a single film, and that's how it's being crafted. Muschietti noted the lack of conversation around extending the story further, highlighting the studio's decision to resist the temptation of cashing in on the franchise's success. In a landscape where studios often milk every drop of profit from successful films, this decision speaks volumes about the integrity of the project. Now, Bill Skarsgård, the mastermind behind Pennywise's creepy persona, seems to be open to the idea of returning for another round of scares in Derry. Despite the character's iconic status and Skarsgård's chilling portrayal, he's hinted at the need for a fresh take on the clown if It Chapter 3 were to happen. Skarsgård and director Muschietti have tossed around some ideas for a potential third film, recognizing the need for a completely original story since they've already covered much of the novel's events. Skarsgård hinted at the possibility of shaking things up with a new version of Pennywise, suggesting that there's potential for evolution in the character. While Skarsgård doesn't spill all the beans, he hints at an exciting concept they're toying with. It's clear that if IT Chapter 3 does materialize, it'll likely bring some fresh scares and surprises to the table, including perhaps a different side of Pennywise we haven't seen before. Stephen King, the mastermind behind the eerie world of It, holds a unique perspective on the future of Pennywise's story. While he's shown a willingness to revisit his past works, as seen with Doctor Sleep, the sequel to The Shining, he's not necessarily eager to dive back into the world of It. In an interview with Bloody Disgusting's The Losers Club podcast, King acknowledged Pennywise's significant place in his literary legacy, even joking about the clown overshadowing him. However, he made it clear that he doesn't have plans to return to the world of It himself. Instead, he's entrusted its continuation to the capable hands of others, specifically mentioning Andy and Barbara Muschietti. King did shed light on a potential project called Welcome to Derry, hinting at a prequel series exploring Pennywise's backstory. While he didn't seem personally invested in continuing the story, he recognized the intriguing storytelling opportunities such a project could offer. So while King may not be actively plotting the return of Pennywise himself, he's open to the idea of others delving deeper into the sinister history of Derry and its infamous clown. 
Now, let's talk about Gary Doberman's vision for IT. From scripting the spine-chilling Annabelle series to taking the directorial reins for Annabelle Comes Home, he's proven his knack for keeping audiences on the edge of their seats. Doberman's influence extends to the IT franchise as well, having co-written the first film and handled all screenplay duties for its sequel, IT Chapter 2. Given his extensive experience with spin-offs and various facets of the Conjuring universe, Doberman has his own vision for where the IT story could head next. In an interview with Comic Book Movie, he touched on the rich mythology surrounding the antagonist and the potential for further exploration. Doberman pointed out that while the first two films covered a lot of ground, there's still plenty left uncharted. He hinted at the vast history of Pennywise and the countless tales of terror it could entail. Doberman's insights suggest that there's ample room for expansion within the IT universe, with a plethora of untold stories waiting to be unearthed. Whether or not audiences are ready for more remains to be seen, but Doberman's enthusiasm for the material is evident, hinting at the possibility of further chapters in the saga of Derry's darkest secrets. After delving into these discussions, the burning question arises, what avenues could be explored in IT Chapter 3? Essentially, the cosmic entity known as IT seems to have met its demise. With the ritual and the dramatic heart-ripping scene, it might appear that the chapter on Pennywise has been closed for good. However, in the horror genre, death is often just a temporary inconvenience, akin to the twists of a soap opera plotline. Think about the numerous resurrections of iconic monsters like Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, and Michael Myers. There are various ways Pennywise could be brought back, and it falls on the writers, who deserve fair compensation for their creative contributions from studios, by the way, to devise a plausible scenario. Regardless of the method chosen, it's crucial to resurrect the central antagonist of the franchise, whether in the guise of a clown or some other terrifying form. Given the significance of the 27-year intervals in the story, IT Chapter 3 could naturally unfold 27 years later back in Derry. Since the members of the Losers Club are now adults without children, this presents an opportunity to introduce a new generation of characters to carry the narrative forward. While a few originals might make a cameo to aid the new protagonists, the focus should primarily be on their fresh journey, rather than retreading old ground. Beyond the Losers and Pennywise, casting for the new generation of characters would be wide open, offering opportunities for fresh faces to join the ensemble cast. And there you have it, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for all the latest updates on your favorite horror flicks. Until next time, and remember, you'll float too, if you dare.